Hamja 19 TV for the beautiful universe. Alhamdulillah wal kafa. Salamun ala ibadillahi lazi nastafa. Amma bad. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أورم يرى الذين كفروا أن السماوات والأرض تناتكن فبتكن هما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يبقه قولي May the respected elders, audience and listener First of all, I would like to welcome all of you with Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. Today, the chosen topic of mine is creation of the universe. I repeat, today the chosen topic of mine is the creation of the universe. My dear respected audience and listener, when I choose this topic, the question arises in my mind, everyone familiar about this subject everyone well known about that after then why i chosen this topic i have to explain about that why i chosen this topic simply because i am a knowledge seeker human being i am a truth seeker man that's why what I do, I always try to find out something new or I try to acquire knowledge or know something from my known things, what I know before. That's why today I chosen this topic, creation of the universe which we know as a Big Bang Theory. The creation of the universe is explained by astrophysicist in a widely accepted phenomenon, popularly known as the Big Bang. It is supported by observational and experimental data gathered by astronomers and astrophysicists for decades. According to the Big Bang, the whole universe was initially one big mass primary nebula. Then there was a big bang, secondary separation, which resulted in the formation of galaxies. These then divided to form star, planets, the sun, the moon, etc. The origin of the universe was unique and the probability of its occurring by chance is zero. Is zero. The Quran contains the following verse regarding the origin of the universe. Before explaining it, I would like to say Quran is not a book of science. Al-Quran is not a book of S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E, science. It's a book of science, S-I-G-N-S. 
my dear respected audience and listener before starting my talk i recite a verse of the holy quran it's surah anbiya chapter number 21 and verse number 30 here our lord our god almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said aurum yaral lazina kafar do not the unbeliever see he mentioned the people who don't believe the creation of almighty allah allah tell them and commanded them to think about this parts do not the unbeliever see that means do not the unbeliever think that the heavens and the earth aram yaral lazina kafaru anna samawati wal arda tanaratkan fabatakna huma that the heavens and the earth are joined together is one unit of creation before we clog them asunder the striking consequence between the quranic verse and the big bang is inescapable how could a book which first appeared in the deserts of arabia more than 1400 years ago contain this profound scientific truth let this question and request to you think about this question no more today i ask you good i wish you good and i would like to say assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thanks for watching.